Worcester's Rock Station and ZZ Top at 832. Right now in the studio, we got a bunch of firefighters, a bunch of cops in here. Uh, not nervous, though. I know I know some of these guys. But uh, Pete Fabricki, thanks for coming in again, representing uh, Worcester Fire Hockey over here. Uh, why don't you guys go around and introduce yourselves to the people that are listening? I'm uh, Ryan Hamilton from Worcester Fire. Ryan, you're a veteran of the Pike Studio there, right? <laughs> yes, sir. Vernon Tivenden, Worcester Police, uh-huh. and Ryan Kneen, also with the Worcester Police. Nice. Well, I appreciate you guys coming in. You guys have a big event coming up Saturday at uh, a place called Breen's. Some people around Worcester might know it, the steak and cheese capital of, uh, of central Massachusetts. And uh, it's, a, it's a big event. You got live music, and you get the meat raffle going on, uh, which is awesome. Now, for people who aren't familiar with what a meat raffle is, can you explain that process to people? Yeah, so uh, a meat raffle, essentially, we're going to have eight tables uh, full of just meat. Uh, it's exactly what it sounds like, um, all different kind of cuts, things like that. Um, and we're going to be raffling them off, come down, buy a ticket. They're going to get thrown in to a, a bucket, and we're going to be pulling winners. Uh, we're going to be pulling eight winners that day, um, throughout the day, like, like Mike said, with live music. Um, we're going to have two bands going as well on that day. Yeah, you guys got uh, Between the Waves. Who are awesome. I've seen them a bunch of times. And uh, is it Desi Garcia? Yeah, Desi's coming down. Yeah. All Desi. the Worcester Fire Brigade pipes and drums. He's great. Yep. Pete, you've been here the most out of everybody. Talking to the mic, brother. Sure. Sorry about that. <laughs> Sorry about that. <laughs> Jeez, oh, man. Forget about it. So, and, uh, and the, so all you guys will be down there. You're going to be civil, right? You're going to be civil to each other? Of course. That all right, I just want to make sure. We'll, we'll, we'll get along. Because uh, I think my wife's coming down. I want you guys to be nice, you know, and... She doesn't like a strong language. Mm-hmm. No, I'm just kidding. She, who she <laughs> no married promises. to, right? <laughs> yeah. So uh, as far as the meat goes, we're talking everything, right? Is beef, pork. Beef, pork, bacon, chicken. Chicken. All different kinds of things. Right. Yeah. Any ostrich. Uh, not that uh, I know no of. goat. <laughs> anything like that? No. Could You'd be. have to put a special request yeah, in for that. Request. Can I put in a special request for that? <laughs> <laughs> and what time, does it, what time does it all start? Doors open at 2. At 2 o'clock? And, and uh, it, we'll get the meat raffle going at 4. Okay, and and uh, what time? Do you guys know what time the music's going to start? Should be right around two o'clock. Okay, all right, cool. And we pipe, have Desi pipe. starting at three. Yeah, he'll pipe. be uh, Desi will be three to four thirty, and Gene Batiste in between the waves will be uh, five to eight. Okay, um, and so does is there any ending time, or does it just go until Breen says you got to stop? Pretty much until, <laughs> until, until we run out of meat and uh, people are ready to go home, I guess. Nice, yep. nice. Well, it's nice to see that because if you go to a, a Worcester Fire, uh, uh, Worcester Fire, Worcester Police hockey game, it seems like there's bad blood, but that's only on the ice, right? Yes, hundred percent. Strictly on the ice. Yeah. I mean, we uh, this was all a collaboration between both teams. Uh, we get along great. We've had a couple meetings down at the iconic Breen's Cafe to get this thing going. So. On the ice, there's a rivalry. Off the ice, um, and out on the street in the city of Worcester, where uh, we all make a great team. That's awesome. Yeah, no That's doubt. great. Now, if say, and I'm not gonna, I, I can't win because I'm gonna be hosting the event with Tim yeah. Foley from the Worcester Railers. We great can't guy. thank you enough for coming out. And oh, doing that my as pleasure. Well. My pl- if, I, if I have to go to Breen's, you know, <laughs> that's, yeah, twist my arm, really. <laughs> You know, but um, worst things to do on a Saturday than be down at Breen's. I know, right? Exactly. <laughs> I'm being constructive with my time. You know, sure. but uh, so say if I win, right? I, I win a a bunch of meat. Can I have Breen's just go ahead and prepare it right there? We can find out. Okay, yeah, I don't sure know if there's health work yeah. for you. Like, say if there's some shaved steak, they can whip up a couple <laughs> of steak and cheeses or something like that. I'm awesome. sure, and we'll have uh, Matt Hanlon on the grill there on uh, Saturday to uh, for any of those. Specific requests. Nice. <laughs> I'll have a few specific requests. <laughs> Absolutely. Um, and so where, where does the money raised go to? Uh, it's going to go to the Worcester Firefighters 6K, um, which is the main charity that we support all year long, as well as the Thin Blue Ride, which is the charity that the police department supports. Uh, if they want to go into that a little bit more, the 6K um, supports needs dogs for deaf and disabled Americans, <clears throat> the American Foundation for Suicide Prevention, and the Genesis Club of Worcester. And to date, we've donated over six hundred thousand uh, dollars to well-deserving charities within the Worcester community. And, and with this being the twenty-fifth year of the Worcester Six, we're uh, pushing to raise as much money as we can and um, do it do it in memory of those guys. Yeah, absolutely. And you, you guys want to talk about the Thin Blue Ride a little bit? Yeah, it's uh, it was a charity started by one of uh, Worcester, a uh, Worcester police officer, John Days, who's a cancer warrior, um, and he. 
It's a 501c3 that raises money for veteran and first responder families that are uh, also cancer warriors um, locally and uh, across the state. So do people have to buy tickets for this event or can they just show up? Just show up. Okay, good. So you got to show up. Show up early. Yeah, show up early. We'll be down there probably before noontime getting things set up. Um, the only tickets that are there are raffle tickets if you want to get in on that or the 50-50. Nice, nice. And uh, and stay long. Stay, stay long stay for long. the live it's music. Be a great time. Absolutely. You know, and hang out at Breen's, which is always a fun time. Yep. Sure Absolutely. Is. Cash only. Just want to remind people. Yep. Yep. They Cash got an only. ATM on premises, <laughs> you know. All right. Well, guys, I appreciate you coming in, man. Thank Thanks you. for having us. We can't it's, thank you guys enough. It's and, a very uh, important good. event. Yeah. yeah, it is. And it's at a fun place, and it's Saturday, and get down there starting at 2. Two o'clock. o'clock. And I'll be down there with Tim Foley doing our best to to get a handle on things. Fantastic. Awesome. Awesome. Thank you. Well, I appreciate it. All right. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very uh, much, Mike. You got it, man. Uh, We'll put all the details up uh, pikefm.com and also on our social media uh, Facebook, Instagram, and uh, also on X slash Twitter. Both of those are at 100 FM The Pike. Hey, it's Mistress Carrie.